y minus 11 times eight. Does it matter that the eight is here versus here? No, it's the same thing. This guy still jumps over and multiplies each of these individually. That is the distributive property. Now this is where it really matters when you have ex when you have variables in here, because remember, they're not like terms, they don't combine. It doesn't become y 11 or negative 11 y or something like that. They stay separate. Now the eight jumps over and multiplies each one of them individually. Eight times y is eight y minus eight times 11, which is 88. And there's your final answer. All right, cool, let's keep going. <clears throat> All right, same dealio, V minus four times 10, jumps over here and jumps over here. 10 times V is 10 V minus 10 times four, which is 40. All right, let's keep going. Last one, same deal. So now it's on the left side, it jumps over and jumps over. 11 times three is 33, plus 11 times x, which is 11x. Because remember, 11 next to a parentheses means it's multiplying. So don't just think I'm making up multiplication. This is already a multiplication problem. We're gonna get out of the habit of using an x to denote multiplication. Why? Because we use x as a variable. So it's this weird phase in your math education where you have to completely unlearn the usage of a certain symbol, which is really bizarre, but it is what it is.